recordings and he's played Carnegie Hall so a very very special honor for us to come and, uh, Thank and you. do his music here he does have CDs for sale that's right yeah I have a few of them I'm only going to sell them for five dollars because they don't have a jacket they're just a CD with the printing of the songs on them but all right you know it is what it is but please come with text Marsha oh all right and as, if you don't know about flamenco guitars they uh, go out of tune all the time. So, and the wind when it comes in. Uh, and my voice is really, if I don't sing a, a 15 minutes nonstop before I perform, I can't sing. So I'll start out with a little talking song about a philosopher. Philosophers come in all kinds. Driving down a dirt road in Georgia in 83, I saw a man with a yard full of rusty cars. I stopped to ask for directions and he said, come on up and sit a spell. So I'm swinging on a porch eating bologna and bread and talking about getting old. Spitting in the dust with a man in the yard full of rusty cars. Scratching the ears of the dog with a man in the yard full of rusty cars. Tell him I've gone to Hades and he says, well, that's real nice. Says Marge, your size T could sure use a little more ice. Now, what was you saying about going to Haiti? Says a man with a yard full of rusty cars. Watching the flies in the kitchen, a man with a yard full of rusty cars. Holding the screen door with a dog to crawl in and out. Careful with that soup, son, it'll burn a hole in your mouth. Soup in life, you gotta learn to wait them out. This is a man with a yard full of rusty cars. Kick off your shoes on the couch with a man with a yard full of rusty cars. Eat homemade pecan pie and be the plate right there on the floor. He said, son, everything here has been burned or broke at least once before. And he winks at his old lady and she winks back at the man with a yard full of rusty cars. Well, I'm talking God and baseball with a man with a yard full of rusty cars. All asleep right there on the couch where we sit. You know his old lady, she don't mind a bit. Leastwise, she don't mention it. By that smiling, smoking, dirty, joking, lucky old man with a yard full of rusty cars. Let's try something. I'm not sure my voice will hold up with this, but we're going to try it anyway. This is in B flat. You'll love it. This is an actually old uh, song written by DJ O'Malley. Many cowboy songs, or so called cowboy songs, were actually written by people in New York City on the piano bench. The real cowboy songs all come from the 1870s, 1880s, of which this is one. About a cowboy trying to get back home to see his mother. <laughs> The jolly cowboys discussing plans at ease Said one, I'll tell you something if you will only please I'm an old cow puncher and I'm dressed most in rags I used to be a good one, boys, went on great big jacks I have a home, boys, a good one you all know 
But I haven't seen it since long, long ago But I'm going home, boys, once more to see them all Yes, I'll see my mother when the work's all done this fall Boys, my mother for me cried. She begged me to stay, boys, for me she would have died. But it didn't treat her right, boys, my harder cash I've spent. When I should have saved it to my mother's sent. But after the roundup's over and after the shipping's done, I'm going back home, boys, there all my money's gone. My mother's heart is breaking, breaking for me, that's all. But with God's help, I'll see her when the work's all done this fall. Then that very night, this cowboy went on guard. The night it was dark and was storming very hard. The cattle they got frightened and they rushed in mad stampede. He did his best to check them, riding at full speed. Riding in the darkness, oh loud he did shout. Doing his utmost to turn the herd about. But his saddle horse he stumbled and on him he did fall. Now the boy won't see his mother when the work's all done this fall. him up gently and they laid him on a bed but the poor boy was mangled they thought that he was dead then he opened up his blue eyes and gazed all around then he asked his comrades to sit there on the ground now bill you can have my saddle and george you can have my bed and jack you can have my pistol after i'm dead I'm going to a new range, boys, I hear the master's call. And now, I'll see my mother, and the work's on in this house. Charlie was buried at sunrise, no tombstone for his head. Just a little slab of wood, and this is what it said. Charlie died at daybreak, he died from a fall. Now the boy won't see his mother when the work's all done this fall. The writer of that song, people have debated when it says, now I'll see my mother when the work's all done this fall, indicates that his mother had already died. And my great granddad said, the reason the lyrics are the way they are, Charlie was buried at sunrise, no tombstones for his head. Uh, Charlie died at daybreak. Uh, Charlie died at sunrise and buried at daybreak because great granddad said it would take him that long for them to dig the grave. So that's why the words are phrased like that. Uh, the real cowboy song now, a lot of singers today wear cowboy hats. They claim that they're country people, but I wrote a song about those guys. Most of them never been on a ranch. Hank Williams once said, you can't write a country song if you don't know what the backside of a mule smells like. Their wolves in sheep clothing, that's where they all hide. They tell us that their homes from in country pride. But they were raised in cities where there ain't no cows. They never could sing country and they can't sing now. Beware of rock and rollers in country clothes. They wear hats and boots but sound like rolling stones. And you can't tell which one is which cause they're all clones. Beware of rock and rollers in country clothes.
It's watered down rock and roll, Lawrence Welk style. They can't compete with Aerosmith that eat them alive. So they dress like Hank Williams and they sing with a twang. They call it modern country, but geek rock is its name. Beware of rock and rollers in country clothes. They wear hats and boots, but sound like rolling stones. And you can't tell which one is which, cause they're all clones. Beware of rock and rollers in country clothes. Now we play real country, the disc jockey claims, but like Will Shakespeare says, what's in a name? If it looks like rock and sound like rock, then partner, guess what? Hey, you can call it country, but I will say not. Beware of rock and rollers and country clothes. They wear hats and boots, but sound like rolling stones. Hey, you can't tell which one is which, because they're all clones. Beware of rock and rollers and country Now that I'm trashing everybody, I'm going to do it the same about opera. I majored in music in college and I had to take opera classes and I failed one test and the constructor said to me, he said, do you listen to this aria? And you said it was a Wagner aria in German. He said, she was singing in English. And I said, who would know? So, this is a song I wrote called, I Don't Like the Opera. Give me a little violin there, a little Santo Lucino. I went to the opera, my date said I'd like the show. I wanted to please her, I didn't want her to know. I don't like the opera, the singers all yell a lot. Overweight vocalist and sophomoric plots. Hark how they sing so loud, the tenor is starting. When he sings a high C, my hair is parting. Screaming sopranos, blood-curling baritones, singing of a sextet. Now I wish that I was home. wrote about a butterfly for this I had to get dressed up in a black suit and tie I don't understand the words Japanese and Italian some guy in a sailor suit it sure is confusing but by the second act I started to understand poor Madam Butterfly her father's sword in her hand when she sings a melody, the music is wonderful. So I like the opera. The opera is Yeah, it's interesting though that Don Giovanni and Figaro and the, the guy from Cosi Van Tutte and Federico, they're all from Madrid, yet they never seem to run into each other. You can get anyway, all right, you have to be an opera book. All right, uh, let's do uh, a political song. Okay. I know everybody goes, but I am. Um, Doing the key, I know. Which is? I 
We'll do it. We'll do it in B. Okay. Once there was a folk group, a picking, singing folk group. They sang the mountain ballads and the folk songs of our land. They were long on musical ability and folks said they would go far. But political incompatibility led to their downfall. And the one on the right was on the left, and the one on the left was in the middle, and the one in the middle was on the right, and the guy in the rear was a Methodist. Now this musical aggregation toured the entire nation, singing mountain ballads and the folk songs of our land. But they took their politics seriously, and one night at the concert hall, while the audience stood deliriously, they had a free for all. And the one on the left was on the top, and the one on the right was on the bottom, and the one in the middle got a broken arm, and the guy in the rear said, oh dear. Oh dear. Now let this be a lesson, if you should start a folk group, don't go mixing politics with the folk songs of our land. Just work on harmony and diction and play your banjo well. And if you've got political convictions, keep them to yourself. Now the one on the right works in the bank and the one on the left drives a truck. And the guy in the middle has an infomercial and the guy in the rear teaches kindergarten. <laughs> Specialties here. Uh, I'm not my voice. Voices of the singing gold paint yet. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> How about a uh, deep in the heart? I rewrote deep in the heart of Texas because the guy that wrote it there is kind of dumb lyrics. The Lumen Sage, you know, it's just kind of. So I'm a real Texan. I know people say some people don't like Texans and some do. And I'm a native-born Texan, born and raised. And uh, I wrote it for Texans, so this is stuff really about Texas. It's really want to know. And uh, also, the original one didn't have a bridge and needed one. Around up in the spring is a sight to see. Deep in the heart of Texas, cowboys roping, horses loping. Deep in the heart of Texas, roadrunners chase, rattle and snakes. Deep in the heart of Texas, and armadillos, well they cross those roads. Deep in the heart of Texas, the Lone Star State is my homeland. From the muddy Red River to the Rio Grande, I've been a lot of places, but I want you to know. Always happy when I get back home. Rampton, uh, Alamo, and San Antonio. Sorry about that. Deep in the heart of Texas, and blue bond is blue from March to June. Deep in the heart of Texas, Woodville's pines are mighty fine. Deep in the heart of Texas, and you can soak your feet. Old Cow Creek, deep in the heart of Texas. State is my homeland from the muddy red river to the Rio Grande. I've been a lot of places, but I want you to know I'm always happy when I get back home. Fredericksburg's peaches are mighty good eating deep in the heart of Texas. And Willie Nelson is a real fine fellow deep in the heart of Texas. a sponsor that actually helps me out financially so I'm required by law to 
to do a little commercial now. Folks, if reptile cuisine is your thing, Billy Bob's barbecue rattlesnake sausage is the sausage for you. Billy Bob's rattlesnake sausage is made with only four foot long or longer diamond back rattlesnakes. So you know you're getting the finest in reptile cuisine. <laughs> Billy, Bob, Billy Bob's rattlesnakes are gathered by his specially trained staff, one arm Sam and fingerless Fred. Each have years of experience and missing body parts to prove their expertise in choosing rattlesnakes for barbecuing. Billy Bob's barbecue rattlesnake sausage is so finger licking good that everyone who eats it wants to give Billy Bob the finger. So remember, Billy Bob's barbecue rattlesnake sausage, the sausage bite. Thank you. Uh, I wrote a Cajun song and I like to do. I, I grew up in East Texas, in very close to Louisiana, and I have some Cajun relatives. And when I was in eighth grade, I had a girlfriend, Nellie Malonzo. So I put her in the story and made the story up. And uh, my grand, my great grandfather worked for Southern Pine Lumber Company, which is also on it, and that's on the Trinity River. So let's see if we can do this. Are you ready? I think I think the guitar is Mike. You can go without that. I'm Nicholas. By the banks of the Trinity River, ladybugs thick in the air. Actually, no, sing along. Is one way. By the banks of the, yeah, we still, we don't have rehearsals much yet. We used to get paid $9 an hour for rehearsal when I was in the orchestra. But now, don't tell her that. By the banks of the Trinity River, the ladybugs thick in the air. Under the limbs of a cypress sat a maid with bright golden hair. Her smile was like acres of daisies in her hand the blue parasol. Eyes that out sparkled dewdrops by beautiful Nell Malonson. Nelly, enchanting Nelly, come with me all along. I'll marry my dear Cajun beauty, mon chéri Nell Malonson. Nelly, your papa won't give you the way to this poor lumberjack. All that I own in this poor world, I carry in this knapsack. But Nelly, I won't always be poor. My friend Claude and I have a plan for Rob Southern Pine Lumber's payroll. And Nelly, I'll buy you some land. Nelly, enchanting Nelly, come with me all along. I'll marry my dear Cajun beauty, Mojere Nell Malonson now. hid by the Trinity River, the thick brush nearby the stream, waited for Southern Pines Wagon, anxious to pull off our scheme. We heard the wagon wheels rolling, we heard the driver's quick crack, with bandanas over our faces, we bravely rode into their path. Nelly, enchanting Nelly, come with me all along. I'll marry my dear Cajun beauty, mon chéri Nell Malonson. Lord said, stand and deliver, and the guard's bullet ripped through his chest. I rode for the Trinity River, and bullets buzzed by as I sped. Suddenly my back felt a burning, my 
left shoulder took the next bound. The guard's aim was rapid and deadly, but the next shot, I hit the ground. Nelly, enchanting Nelly, this world I'm leaving au revoir. Farewell, my dear Cajun beauty, mon chéri, Nel Molençon. We've got a little bit though. <clears throat> okay. This is an actual island zone. And uh, you can say, what is a cowboy doing in an island zone, Will? <laughs> this is my radio show. On the beach, walking with me, is my brown skin, lovely mummy. We sit on the beach on the sand, that's when she takes a hold of my hand. I gaze in her beautiful eyes, she puts her hand on my thigh, her kiss goes straight to my heart, that's when I get sand in my shorts, sand in my shorts, sand in my shorts, there's sand from starboard to port, now it's hard to think of romance when you've got sand in your pants. Way to and fro, making love to the shore. Marie says, Lay down, my dear. I'll whisper soft in your ear. She said, Will you give me a thrill? She says, Do you feel what I feel? I say, Yes, I feel it, my dear. But a sand crab is pinching my rear. Sand in my shorts, sand in my shorts. There's sand from starboard to port. Now it's hard to think of romance when you've got sand in your pants. Good. So now people listen to me. If you go to the Caribbean, sit on the beach with your love, 
where the palm trees swing above. I'll give some advice to you now. Take a large blanket or towel, so when you make love on the beach, you'll get no sand in your BBD. Sand in my shorts, sand in my shorts. There's sand from starboard to port. It's hard to think of romance when you've got sand in your pants. Let's try old paint. Let's see if I can do old paint. My voice is acting up. We'll try. I ride an old paint, feeding old Dan. Going to Montana for to throw the hula hand. They feed him. Leaves and they water in the groves. Their tails are all matted and their backs are all raw. Right around little doggies, right around real soul. For the fiery and the snuffy are round and true. Goodbye, old paint. I'm leaving Cheyenne. Now when I die, take my saddle from the wall, put it on my pony and lead him out of the stall. Tie my bones to his back, turn our faces to the west. We'll ride the prairies that we love the best. Ride around little doggies, ride around real slow. For the fiery and the snuffy are raring to go. Well, my feet's in the stirrups and my bridle's in my hand And I'm going to Montana cause I'm broke and shy and Goodbye, old paint, I'm leaving shy Thank you, thank you. Uh, th this Red Cross is looking for donations. Is, is that where the jar is? Is that, is that the jar or where? It's all around. It's all around. So just just drop your money on the floor and they'll pick it up. <laughs> all right. Let's do something a little bit more like Hart Mill. I'm trying to think of how to work uh, in Texas. She, she has a rich doctor for her husband. And she does not like getting old. So this is a, she looks so young and pretty, like she is in her 20s. But she was born in June of 1945. Her skin is soft and golden, cause it's so full of silicone. Things that used to sag her, trimmed and cinched up tight. Nose jaw, ears bottom, and collagen lips. Hair plant and golden tan and brand new hip. Chemical peel, it's surreal, but tell me, sweetheart, how much of your body has its original parts? Liposuction, white teeth, thick eyebrows and dimple cheeks, a million dollar cosmetic dream come true. Tummy tuck, and knees replaced, and wrinkles stretched out from her face. You've got a brand new body, but I'm Miss the old you. Nose jaw, ears bottom, and collagen lips, hair implant, and golden tan, and brand new hip. Chemical pill, it's surreal, but tell me, sweetheart, how much of your body has its original parts? You know I love you, honey, but ain't it kind of funny? It seems that you're leaving me piece by piece. You can't find your self-esteem with surgery and wrinkle cream, so let it sag and wrinkle and grow old with 
Watching Jerry Springer one night, and uh, this isn't the, 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 what was on, but it gave me the idea for this because it's so bizarre. So, this is called the Jerry Springer episode. Watching Jerry Springer drinking Pepsi from a bottle, a woman comes out and says that she's as hot as any supermodel. She comes out wearing high heel boots and a tube top and a thong, a nose ring and a tattoo that says party all night long. Her husband Bob is sitting there popping Prozac pills. He talks about her cheating ways, but says he loves her still. He says she used to be so sweet, but then she went astray. He caught her in the shower, soaping up his brother Ray. Oh, Jerry Springer, Jerry Springer, where do you get these people? Summer freaks and summer geeks and summer just pure evil. Transvestite lawyers, wayward daughters, hookers, figure skating. The Klu Klux Klan and deadbeat dads, anything that'll boost your rating. Now the whole thing was disgusting, but the sin of it, you see, was not the infidelity of Brother Ray's a priest. When Brother Ray was 17, he joined a monastery. They never speak or eat red meat and shave off all their hair. Now the camera pans to Jerry and he said, we'll break for a commercial. And when we come back, we're gonna hear from Bob's son, Herschel. After the commercial break, three of their own camera. Bob, his wife, and Herschel, a tragic family drama. But Bob and his wife are confused. Why is Herschel? And Jerry Springer says, folks, Herschel has something to declare. Herschel says, Mom and Dad, you know I love you so, but there's something I gotta tell you, and I think that you ought to know. I've fallen hopelessly in love, and it's with another man. I've always known that I was gay, so please accept me if you can. But that's only half the story. There's more I got to say. The man I'm having the hot love affair with is Uncle Ray. Oh, Jerry Springer, Jerry Springer, where do you get these people? Summer freaks, summer geeks, and summer just pure evil. Transvestite lawyers, wayward daughters, hookers, figure skating. The Klu Klux Klan and deadbeat dads, anything that'll boost your reading. Herschel says we're leaving next week, we're moving to St. Paul. And I'm so sorry, Mom and Dad, for all the heartache that I caused. Thank you. Now the audience at Jerry Springer's, they're sitting there in shock. And passed out on the stage is Herschel's father, Bob. Bob's wife is sitting there, the betrayal makes me guilt. The camera pants to Jerry and he gives tomorrow's bill. He says tomorrow we're gonna have a man that claims that he's from Pluto been living here on Earth, living incognito. The Pluto Planetary Science League that studies life on Earth switched him with the human baby when the human mom gave birth. He was sent here to experience all of our human ways, and tomorrow he'll reveal his human form is known as a great. Thank you.
Jump off the Tallahatchie Bridge Oh, wow. One day up near 
his long haul, I let him slip away. He's looking for that home, and I hope he finds it. But I trade all my tomorrows for one single yesterday to be holding Bobby's body next to mine.
Zeppelin. Right. 
Don't pay him.